This patient has a strep bacterial infection causing a red, sore, pussy throat. The tiny round strep bacteria thrive on throat tissue. The bacteria are coated with hairs called M protein. M protein is what your body recognizes to be foreign. In response, your body will launch an immune attack against it. Leukocytes roll slowly on endothelial cells. P-selectins on endothelial cells interact with PSGL1, a glycoprotein on leukocyte microvilli. Leukocytes, pushed by the blood flow, adhere and roll on endothelial cells because existing interactions are broken, while new ones are formed. At sites of inflammation, chemokines secreted by endothelial cells bind to the extracellular domains of G-protein-coupled membrane receptors. This binding causes a conformational change in the cytosolic portion of the receptor and the consequent activation of a subunit of the G-protein. The activation of the G-protein subunit triggers a cascade of protein activation which in turn leads to the activation and clustering of integrins inside lipid rafts. A dramatic conformational change occurs in the extracellular domain of the activated integrins. This now allows for their interaction with ICAM proteins displayed at the surface of the endothelial cells. These strong interactions immobilize the rolling leukocyte at the site of inflammation. Additional signaling events cause a profound reorganization of the cytoskeleton resulting in the spreading of one edge of the leukocyte. The leading edge of the leukocyte inserts itself between endothelial cells, and the leukocyte migrates through the blood vessel wall into the inflamed tissue. Rolling, activation, adhesion, and transendothelial migration are the four steps of a process called leukocyte extravasation. White blood cells, called macrophages, lead the body's cell-mediated immune response by engulfing and digesting foreign invaders. Combining peptide fragments from the invaders with some of its own proteins, the macrophage builds a patchwork of antigen complexes on its surface. When smaller white blood cells called helper T cells encounter the macrophage, those with matching receptors bind to its surface. These helpers then multiply and secrete chemicals which call different cells into battle, especially the cytotoxic or killer T cells. The macrophage, or an infected cell, activates only those cytotoxic cells with receptors that match the antigen complexes. Stimulated by chemicals from the helper T cells, these killer T cells rapidly divide into an army of clones, all designed to fight the specific invader that triggered the response. When killer cells dock with an infected cell, they bombard it with lethal toxins, then move on in search of other targets. Your lymphatic network is an important part of the immune system, detecting any infections that arise in your body. The M protein hairs drain into the lymphatic system around this patient's neck. The lymph node is crammed full of B cells. B 
B-cells are guardians of your immune system, scanning the body for foreign material. Arriving at the lymph node are M protein hairs from the bacteria. Your body contains billions of B cells. Each B cell is unique and is sensitive to only one kind of foreign infection. By chance, one B cell is sensitive to the M protein hairs from the bacteria. This is the molecular surface of that B cell magnified 10 million times. Its surface is covered with receptors that recognize M protein. The receptors grab onto the M protein hairs. This triggers an activation signal to travel into the cell. The activated B cell migrates and begins to replicate. In a few days, thousands of copies of the selected cell are made. This is the central idea in Burnett's clonal selection theory where one cell is selected out of billions of B cells and identical clones have been created from it. Therefore, the cell is clonally selected. This creates an army of B cells that mass produce M protein antibodies and release them into the surrounding fluid. The antibodies circulate in the blood and travel into tissues. They bind to the M protein hairs on the strep bacteria. This flags them for destruction by the immune system.